Lydia and Jackson had only been married for five years, despite a 10-year age difference. They married when Lydia was 20 years old. Three years later, they decided to have children, and they had twins, a boy and a girl. Jackson was unspeakably happy about their appearance and grateful to Lydia for giving him this happiness. However, along with joy, Lydia could not ignore the changes in her appearance after childbirth. Her figure had not improved, and that made her sad. Jackson tried to reassure her by saying, Don't worry, everything will go back to normal. It's just a temporary phase. Just be patient. He did his best to support her by paying for massage therapy, gym membership, and a nutritionist. Lydia appreciated his love and support, which gave her the strength to keep going. When their children were three years old, Lydia decided to return to work. She was tired of the monotonous days of maternity leave, and after discussing it with Jackson, she returned to her job. Prior to her pregnancy, Lydia had been a regular at the gym. One day when she arrived at the gym, the receptionist informed her that her regular trainer, Harper, was ill and would be replaced that day. Although she was disappointed at first, her mood quickly changed when she saw her new trainer, an athletic and hardworking man who clearly cared about her fitness. They met, and Colton, the coach, introduced himself to Lydia. He inquired about her health, and they began their workout. The workouts went well, but Lydia felt somewhat uncomfortable working out with a male trainer. It felt unfamiliar, and she couldn't shake the feeling that something was wrong. To her surprise, Lydia found that she became aroused during the class and later spent an intimate evening with her husband. During her next workout with Colton, Lydia noticed that the trainer seemed overly touchy. He would put his hand on her waist, sometimes on her buttocks, and she even noticed him looking at her from behind. Lydia's husband, Jackson, jokingly remarked that exercise had a positive effect on his wife, not only physically, but also emotionally. Disregarding the truth, he was pleased with Lydia's newfound enthusiasm. One day, Jackson asked Lydia if their friend Harper was back from sick leave. Lydia replied that she hadn't spoken to Harper because she had apparently broken her leg. Jackson revealed that he'd joined the gym too, and he warned Lydia about Colton's tendency to be overly attached to customers. Lydia thanked her husband for his concern and promised to be more vigilant with her trainer. During the next workout, Lydia couldn't help but think about Jackson's words. In the back of her mind, she expected Colton to intensify his advances, but nothing happened. Lydia almost dismissed her concerns until one day Colton asked her to join him in his office to record her measurements. While he was measuring, Lydia noticed him touching her breasts, her thighs, and adjusting her hair. Feeling awkward, she couldn't resist kissing him. Surprisingly, Colton didn't push her away and allowed her to do so. From that point on, Lydia began to focus more on her workouts, impressing her husband Jackson with her determination. Lydia intentionally kept her constant training with Colton a secret from her husband. She knew that if Jackson found out, he would get angry and insist on changing gyms. She didn't want that to happen because she loved her moments of solitude with Colton after workouts. One summer when their twins were visiting their grandmother, Jackson spontaneously decided to go to the gym after work. Unaware that Lydia was also there, he was shocked to see his wife in the far corner of the gym with Colton engaged in intimate touching. The discovery left him puzzled and offended, especially since Lydia had told him that they had stopped training with Colton as soon as Harper returned. Curiosity got the better of Jackson, and he discreetly followed his wife and her trainer. Eventually, his surveillance paid off, and he saw Lydia and Colton enter the coach's locker room. He hesitated for a moment, doubting whether to continue, but finally pressed his ear against the thin door. Thanks to the material of the door, he could clearly hear everything going on inside and realized that this was far from an ordinary workout. He heard his wife, whom he loved very much, cheating on him with another man. There were unintelligible moans coming from behind the closed door. Unable to bear it, he moved away from the room and decided to wait until it was over. After a while he heard the key turn in the lock and the door open. 
Standing on the threshold was Lydia, followed by Colton. Both had flushed faces, and Lydia's hair was disheveled and must. When she saw her husband, she froze. Jackson, what are you doing here? She asked in confusion. Just passing through, her husband replied. I came to see my wife in action, but I guess something went wrong. Upon realizing the situation, Colton immediately backed away, realizing what he had done was wrong, but not wanting to take responsibility. Jackson shouted after him, asking him how he'd spent the day with Lydia and if he'd enjoyed it. The three of them caught the attention of the bystanders, who stared at them wide-eyed. Lydia was on the verge of fainting and begged Jackson not to make a scene. Anger filled his eyes as he spat at her feet and walked away from the scene of his wife's betrayal. Lydia chased after him in tears, begging him to wait. We'll talk at home, he threw over his shoulder as he hurried away. Lydia, realizing the gravity of her act, sobbed inconsolably. Now she had to return to the gym, where everyone had witnessed her betrayal. The thought of people's stares and whispers filled her with fear and shame, intensifying her tears. When she returned home, her angry husband was waiting for her with her things already packed. Jackson didn't want to hear any apologies or excuses. He was furious, so furious that it looked as if steam might come out of his ears. His wife had never seen him in such a state before. There is no excuse for your actions. I cannot forgive you. I will only communicate with you for the sake of the children, but we will start divorce proceedings immediately, Jackson sternly stated. Despite the woman's attempts to reason with him, screaming and pleading for forgiveness, Jackson remained adamant. He quickly cut the cheating woman out of his life with no chance of redemption. He gave her a few hours to pack up the rest of her belongings and leave. Years after the divorce, healed from past wounds, Jackson met a kind woman with whom he continues to share his life. Lydia had no place in his future. After the incident, she left the gym and lost track of where to find him. In time, she found another partner who turned out to be a common domestic oppressor. He made her life unbearable. She was constantly under stress. As his abuse intensified, she realized she needed to escape. Hastily packing her belongings, she sought refuge with a friend in another city. Lydia, acting impulsively, lost everything and had to build her life from scratch. She never thought about the consequences of her actions, guided only by immediate desires, which rarely leads to a positive result. The predicament she found herself in made her think, but the real realization came when she found herself alone with her children, homeless and unsupported.